In this video, we're going to focus on how we can control the scales and the step size here with this very simple input button. But of course, the focus will be on how we can use the chart and update API. So as you can see here, if I increase here, look at that, the scale on the Y axis is starting to adjust. So let's start to look how to do this. So let's start to look how to update the step size with chart.update in chart.js. So the first thing what we need is we need to go here to chartjs3.com getting started this specific link here which you can find as well in the description box. Once you're on the site scroll down here and copy this entire chunk of code here this boiler template that we'll be using and if you want to understand what this code all does make sure you watch this video here. Once you're on here just paste this all in there and once you paste that I'm going to cut that title and put that title in here. Save that refresh and there we are. Now we have our bar chart. What I want to do is I want to maximize this, say 80% in this case, there we are. So what I want here basically is the moment we input, for example, I'm going to put an input value here as a input box and then the step size will start to adjust. For that, we will be using, of course, the chart that update API, but of course, this needs to be connected. So let's start to work with this. So the first thing what I need is I need to go in here and I'm going to say here a input type numbers. And then what we're going to do in here, I'm going to give it an ID and I'll just call this the steps or something like that. Doesn't matter, you give it anything you want. So I'm going to copy that and go down here. And basically what I want to do here is I want to connect that. So I'm going to put there. And then here what I want to do is first of all a constant. So is steps equals document dot get element by ID with, this, uh, with the name steps which makes sense so the next thing what I want to do is I want to say here uh, before I even do the function I want to make sure that we're going to trigger any input in steps and for this I'm going to copy this steps ID dot and add event listener basically you're triggering the event and in this case I'll make it very simple I'm going to put an input of course, input is not always the best way if you have like delete certain values or something. So, of course, there are better ways, maybe a drop down, but I'm just going to show you a sample here. So, just bear with me. So, then what I want to do is here, get input, and then I'm going to register the event. And I'm going to make a callback functionality. So, we're going to say here a function error expression. Once we have this, what I want to do here is I want to trigger on input always a specific function. In this case, I'll just call this function step size. And then what I'm going to do here is what I want to do here is two, two arguments I'm going to put in here. First one would be the my chart. And the next one would be the element or the event itself. So the my chart is just this specific object here, which is the chart object. So now we have this. And then what I can do now, if we do a function, I'm going to say here step size. And if I just do here only one thing, I do a console log and we'll just check if this works. Say hello, save this, refresh, all right, open up developer tag. Then if I put in here now a value, as you can see here, as I go up or down, it says here, hello, or the console log shows this. So this means that this works. Of course, I don't want hello. What I want is basically two items. I'm going to say here chart, which is reference to the my chart object. That's this one here. And next, you can say here the event itself. Uh, and what we're going to do here is basically the following. What we can say here is we're going to adjust something. And what I want to adjust here specifically is basically this here. Within the scales, we have here, we put a comma and you're going to say here ticks. And you can say here the step size. And the step size controls the ticks in how many steps it goes up or how many values it increases. So if I do here, let's say five and save this, pay attention here, if I refresh here, you can see here now we have an increment of five every single time. So let's put this back on one. And by default, it will just calculate what would be the most appropriate. In this case, this is acceptable because we have enough space for the ticks, but if it's not, it would uh, readjust itself. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change this. And basically what we can do here is we're going to say here uh, let's get the item which is this one here we need to go here so how do we get there we're going to say here chart dot 
config and if you're wondering how because of the chart here this is my chart this is the reference to this here so chart.config and from config it goes to options scales y ticks step size so i'm going to say config dot uh what is that the options dot scales dot y dot ticks dot step size and then what we want to do here is we're going to say equal and in this case i'm just going to do it very simple i guess this one has basically no real value for us we can just grab this one here and we're going to say yeah this dot value so the moment we do this it basically it will recommend or recognize this specific value we can do here console log and just show the value so if i save this and then if i refresh here and then if i go up 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 as you can see here it recognizes the value now or at least it sees what we insert so what i want to do now is this should be equal to the step size which is already here but one thing we didn't do yet we did chart.update and once we update this we can save this refresh and let's look at this what will happen if i go up and there we are as you can see here it starts to gradually gradually adjust and update itself every single time until we have like almost infinity but of course if you do it like this here it might sometimes give a weird response anyway this is a very basic way of updating the step size within chart.js so if you enjoyed this video maybe you want to have another one as well which i highly recommend to explore as well is on how to format the numbers in the y scale in chart.js so this can be very useful for financial numbers in that case you have different structural formats this video here shows exactly how to do that